Hey, what's up, guys? Got me a new weather station for Christmas. So, Sunday, out here in the shop. Figured I'd check it out and see what's going on with it and maybe see what it'd take to get it put up. So, let's open the box and see what we got in there. Looks like this is probably a display, we'll see here. Alright, that's the indoor display that it will display all the readings on. Wind vane. Main unit. So it's got a little trip right here to measure the rain and then empty itself so you don't have to worry about it freezing or anything. That's pretty nice. There's the directional wind vane. mounting hardware. I guess this is gonna be the power supply for the display. Yep, power supply. We're in the house. Got the cup that goes up on top of here to catch your ring. sure what this particular piece is. It might be the stand for the uh, indoor display. We'll see. Service card telling you who to call, not to return it to the store. Alright, that appears to be what's in the box. So I'll take a glance at the instructions and see what all needs to be done to assemble it. It doesn't look real tough. It looks like a couple things just press on and that should pretty well take care of it. But I want to make sure that I get it right. So I'm going to look at the directions just in case they have some special instructions. <coughs> nice thing about it is it's solar powered so it should just transmit to the receiver without having to worry about batteries. So that's pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to take a glance at these instructions and then uh, come back and we'll get it assembled. Alright guys, took a glance at the instructions here with a quick start and basically all it says is there's a set screw right here, you need to make sure that that's backed out appropriately this lines up a particular way, it's keyed, so you need to make sure that you mate that up with the key. So once that's on there, then you just tighten down the set screw 
Same thing on this guy over here. Just want to make sure that you get it on there. And then we'll just snug up these set screws. Make sure it spins freely. Yep, no problem on that one. problem on that one. Take this cup. This cup just sits on here. It just spins into place. That's all there is to assembling that. And I see this sticker here. I thought it was solar powered but this sticker says to insert batteries. So there's a battery compartment right here. You just have to slide that open. Slap a couple double A's in there. I'm not going to go over putting the mounting hardware on there. That's pretty straightforward. You're just going to put a plate up into here and it's got a couple of clamps that'll clamp onto a pipe. So that's pretty much it. And then to complete your install and your setup, you'll have to either use a compass or a GPS with a compass feature on it so that you can make sure that you get it actually set up to north so that when it gives you wind direction it'll be accurate and it'll actually tell you the correct wind direction rather than being off and it's got a bubble level on it right here that you'll have to center up and level to make sure that it's true when you install it but Seems like a really nice unit. Can't wait to get it set up and uh, try it out. Because, uh, at least for me, I mean, being a tree guy, job is pretty dependent on the weather. So, knowing what the weather's actively doing can definitely help me plan my day and what jobs I want to try to tackle for the day, depending on what kind of weather we're receiving. The other cool thing about this one is you can link it up through the internet and you can see what's going on on your phone or you can use this display in the house also. So it makes it pretty convenient to see what the weather's doing, how it's changing. Um, if you hunt and fish it's good information to have for that too. So, there it is, guys. Thanks.